Okay, so here we are, day two. We brought all the laundry back and putting it all away. And now we're gonna go ahead and go through these cabinets. Okay, so what do we have here? Let's see, the first thing is this giant teddy bear. And then we have, looks like some magazines. Okay, something. Here's a and here's more home decor. Okay. And So this, these shelves are particle board, and then I'm using a microfiber cloth on them. I'm doing my best, but it's so snaggy. Ah! Okay. We washed a lot of blankets that last week, and she wanted them stored in plastic bags. So that's what I'm doing with this cupboard here. These cabinets are surprisingly deep. I can't believe how many blankets you can fit in one bag. I'm just continuing with the organization of things by you know just categorizing things right now if i find a christmas thing it goes with the christmas stuff home decor goes in a different category etc it's nice that we already have some categories made up so it kind of gives us a we're not completely lost on what to do with stuff. This looks like a mini thing can go in there. This is old school. Oh my gosh. Is that a cheese grinder? It's a meat grinder for making your own uh, hamburger. Oh wow, really? This is more like homeowner stuff. Like tools and stuff. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I think this is a curtain. Oh, I don't know if you get the fit. Uh huh. Thank you. 
Buster kit. Huh. Yeah. Okay, Bonnie, this is for you. I am creating a bag of bags. <laughs> he has a channel called A Beautiful Mess, and it is my one of my favorite channels, so you should follow Bonnie from A Beautiful Mess. You will love her. to see what's in here and then this is going to be the home decor cabinet so the blankets were to the right of this and now this one is for home decor this says christmas napkins so we'll put that right on top of there yeah i wonder if eventually if they under the stairs come down and put that christmas stuff like holiday a dark blue tea set so i guess and there's another dishes another dish set in here okay so there's more sheets sheets i should have said home decor and dishes <laughs> she collects like Pretty dishes and tea sets and stuff. This is a blanket and everything. Probably key. This is a Christmas item. This is, um, okay. Here's more. Okay, so home decor. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> Breakable stuff. Also, this is white china. Okay, and then these are also plates. Okay, so what I'm going to say is anything to do with dishes or home decor can go in here because this is like for her home like to do some kind of wainscoting repairs or something or whatever so that was actually it. flooring <laughs> what is it? It sounds funny it's making a noise oh it's a cuckoo clock okay. yeah so no home decor christmas napkins okay this is christmas and then this is cups glassware more glassware okay so i'm gonna hand you back home decor stuff oh starting with dishes okay so dishes just try oh wait hold on just, yeah should we do the bottom first clean this. look at that Like, I know. It okay. just it's just this mostly what I was concerned about is down there on the bottom. You see that? <laughs> my daughter in law the, cannot the stand oh, microfiber oh, cloth. Like, it doesn't dry hair, like if it snags my fingers. Mm -hmm. So it's like wiping it, like it doesn't bug me. <laughs> Alright, so here's more dishes. And then this is dishes. And yeah, oh, yeah. just kinda of, like dishes. Can I see this fits in but at least it's, yeah, it's, yeah. Oh. And then, well, we could do, because we could put dishes over here too. Or you could make it be all on that side. I bet it'll fit. There you go. There you go. And then I was going to say, home decor could take up the rest. Like, let's see. Because what, here, I'll show you what we have for home decor, and you can decide how you want to organize it. Because there's this, and this, that's going to have to go. And then, and that green. Oh, yep. that's too right. Yep. And then there's that, and this. <clears throat> I have to go on the bottom here because there won't be room. Yeah, I'll just leave it away and just leave it away. That's good. There. There you go. Alright. And I'm not sure if that's home decor or not because it's taped shut. I don't really want to open it. This is so cool. Homeowner gifted that picnic oh, basket so to cool. me. I'm so excited. <laughs> Okay, 
Dang, wow, there's so much candle stuff. <laughs> and rocks, I guess, in that one. I'm gonna try to put the Christmas stuff in the Christmas box. Okay, and then let's see. Oh, these are Christmas cards. This is this Christmas tool in that guy. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna about that. After I emptied this out and categorized it as best I could, the stuff we ended up putting back in this cabinet was just boxes of each category of thing. So we're going to have to go through this cupboard with the homeowner at some point because we don't know what she wants to keep and get rid of, but our end goal is to clear off this countertop so she has somewhere to fold her laundry. This is a suit dress. Still just categorizing everything that's been the bulk of this entire laundry room is basically just putting things into categories and then seeing how much you have of each thing and then going through and minimizing that category to what you actually want and need and love that teddy bear lamp she did end up throwing away because it was just broken in way too many pieces and she realized it was pretty much beyond repair and that none of her kids really wanted it We had been storing this box of Christmas stuff on top of the linen closet, but then we realized okay, so there was just getting to be way too much, so we put it into a bigger box, and once we did that, it was just too big and heavy, so we ended up putting that Christmas box in the family room next to the other Christmas box that was already in there. You lost the penny? You're going to love it if you want. Here you go, Bonnie. Storage Another bag of bags, bags just for you. And there's another bag of bags right there behind the other one. <laughs> 
that's an inside joke between me and another YouTuber. That bag of bags thing. <laughs> oh, great idea. Absolutely. Oh, we had a big bag box of cords. Where did we put it? I don't know. I'm not sure what to put it at. Then, and these are nails. They're already put together as nails. Let's see. Maybe we can put this. together. <laughs> How adorable was that? <laughs> this little girl, she lives there too. And also a little boy. It's like a three generation family. It was a four generation family. And then I forget that my view isn't even starting to like try and put stuff away up there. Oh yeah, this this looks like one of those things that you make a chair taller with, or it could be a thing to put flowers in. I'm not sure. Okay, I'll put we need a box this. up the second cupboard so that first cupboard towards the right I ended up just filling with categorized boxes and now we're just figuring out what's in this cupboard and doing the same thing Okay, we're getting ready to leave again, and once again, it doesn't really look any better, but it is because we got rid of we got rid of one bag of trash. We put all the laundry away, and we're gonna. This is a linen closet, but we have overflow linen, so we're going to try and get some decisions made. Yes, so when we go back for part three, she's going to declutter her own linen cupboard. We ended up with all these empty storage bins that we didn't need, so a lot of them she ended up getting rid of. And then this cupboard here is all things we're going to have to go through with her. Thank you. 
And so this is organized. And then we'll have to put labels. And then this one, we didn't have time to complete. This cabinet here is what we end up using for her, all her sentimental items that were her mother's. White cabinet on the left coming up is what we end up using for all the cleaning supplies. And we still need to get back to this medicine cabinet. Thank you for being here with me. I'll see you next time. Bye.